Hello. And, uh, yeah, we're playing at another different team. It's been a good season for uh, taking on different people. So, Kislev today. Let's have a quick look at them. Real quick. We've got Wrestle, Wrestle, Block, Block, Wrestle. I imagine that this person... Oh, their bear is out. That's probably good for us, because uh, Mighty Blow... Oof. Um, and then we've got, uh, so we've got 8, 9, 10, 11. They've got 11 players. <coughs> Solid catcher here. And this catcher is perhaps, uh, I'm going to say that this is their uh, ball getter. I imagine they'll get strip ball at some point as well. Because they got the dauntless and the wrestle. Uh, interesting, interesting way of doing things. Uh, so no crazy skills, but uh, three catches is good. Um, no blitzes. Okay, okay. How have they done? They've done all right. It's it, it's a tough team to play. I can attest to that. Uh, real quick, we are. We brought in a new catcher. Uh, we've got everybody present, so we'll see how it goes. They got a lot of block skills, so. Uh, oh, they picked up a line, an extra lineman. Spent into their thing, so maybe we'll see some fouling. Maybe they just want the uh, extra, uh, what would you say, uh, safety net of having the extra player. I think we're still only on 11 players, unfortunately. Obviously, we haven't played nearly as many games as I would have liked, but, uh, you know, having a fun time with the team. Bear Orcs versus Tiger Tusks. They are going on defense. Makes sense. They like to. Uh, they're a team that's good at, on defense. <coughs> if only could have got that one extra SPP and got block here, would have been totally worth it for this game. Um, okay, so let's see. We'll put you on ball duty as per usual. We should probably keep our agility guy close by to that if we can, just because they are going to get at us. I'm pretty sure. Um, you are a lineman with block, which is pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. We can do the wrestler as well. Pop him up here. Um, and I guess we'll probably try and go at that guy, so we'll spread these guys like this. With the idea that we'll go and try and make a hit here. <coughs> uh, let's see, so we've got... Boom, 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 hopefully. Did they leave their learner off? Looks like they might have left a catcher off. Extra reroll, I won't say no to. So we've got to remember that they can jump at all times, alright? <laughs> so we're not going to go too fast here. Uh, we'll stay on that one. Very well. We'll just push him this way, so he's kind of away from from our danger area. Uh, you can move up to there. You can move up to here. <coughs> um, let's kind of just make this awkward more than anything else to get through. So if they do try and dive over, they've got to kind of get through two uh, ranks of guys. Is the idea because of the uh, the leaping? Oh, that's a bad start, isn't it? Uh, we did get the extra reroll. We're going to use it. I don't I don't want to take that hit this early on uh, what could be a key guy. 
If they come after him, they come after him, but let's not make it easy on them. Okay, what, is, what are we looking at range-wise here? Okay, we'll just drop into the middle here and see uh, see if they're going to hold off or if they're going to come after us hard. I imagine they'll wait till we're a little closer to, to really get going. Oh, screening us. We'd like to go after their catches in an ideal world, but they'll probably hide them pretty well. That's not going to get rerolled. <clears throat> not a big deal for them, though. Alright, so they've definitely given us uh, passages. Um, it probably would behoove us to send somebody around. Uh, they might get beaten on, but it'll give them somebody to think about. <clears throat> like, that's that's now a threat that they've got to take seriously. Or well, they don't have to, but... Uh, let's see. So I think we're just going to hit in the front here. Oh, well, he's he's got Blodge. He's not... Um, he's a high-value target, but obviously he's not likely to be got down, unfortunately. So I think we are going to try and screen this for the moment. They could come for it. It's going to be interesting to see how hard they attack. No dice this turn. Yeah, let's see how they approach this. <coughs> see if they're happy sitting back. So th what we're doing here is we're kind of layering up our defense so that if they try, they can't basically leap to get to us unless they, they could potentially do like a ray on the side and come in, but it's going to be hard to do that and get assists. So they're just attacking our front right now. Might use a reroll just to, nope, okay. They're saving them. Yeah, you got to save them for the, the bad jump. So the nice thing here is, um, if he's just going to mark him, that's going to that's going to be an option if he doesn't go after him um, later in the half to use this guy, or if he doesn't, you know, hurt himself. It's going to be an option that we could actually throw to if we wanted. I'm going to send another one round to see if we can kind of disrupt this uh, screening that's going on. So we're not getting much in the way of blocks here so far. Um, I think we're going to give him a potential here and see if he decides to take it. Because we've got our agility in the back pocket. <coughs> I 
At some point with four rerolls, I kind of anticipate he's going to attack us. Seems like a solid player so far, though. He's played pretty much how I think I would have played this. Might re-roll it this time, because it's very early in the half, and it... I mean, very early in the turn. Okay. That's nice to see. No uh, armor break, but they are armor value 8, so it's not too crazy. Hmm, we could actually push up through here. Uh, let's try it. I'm not going to use this because it's more dodgy this time. Okay, that kind of is unfortunate. Uh. So I think we can push over into here. Uh, somewhat, anyway. Got a block there, we got a block there. It's going to be kind of difficult to protect this, actually. Okay, so we're going to, we're just going to full-on cage up here, I think. Just to be on as safe a side as we can. He can leap into this from where he's at. Uh, there's only so much I can do about that. Let's follow this one. Give ourselves a window to get through. Oh, we do have this guy as well. Oh, we won't follow that one. I guess we, as an insurance, let's bring this guy down here. Okay, that makes things uh, at least a little more tricky. <clears throat> so we're keeping our agility 5 close by, uh, because there is a big danger here that this ball goes loose. We've made it kind of awkward if it does go loose. Oh, he one died that. Well, I never. And he killed us. Um, I mean, we'll attempt to apo that. Okay, it worked. That's most unfortunate. The one, the one time we leave somebody there and he just insta dies, isn't that always the way? I think we've had twice as many blocks as he has, and some of them have been mighty blows. So you could argue that maybe we should have had the uh, the armor break first, but. He has had problems with diving, I mean, uh, leaping. <coughs> so I suppose that's a thing. Alright, so it looks like he's just going to dive straight in here, maybe. And boop. Oh, maybe he's going to come in this... Okay, he's just really getting this around. If it doesn't work, we may be able to push up into the corner, but we'll see. I wonder if he's going to use this guy for the better chance of leaping. Probably. Yeah, yeah he's going with the uh, the specialist here. So you've got to imagine that this is going to go loose, because this is a 2 plus, and then he needs a uh, 3 plus. Oh. Okay, didn't get it, that's good. That's where strip ball is going to be amazing. Now, is he going to stay here? He is. Oh, 
Oh, one dice because of that. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I don't know if I can get this very safe here. Uh, we will stay on that one. I could really do with getting somebody here, but I don't really have anybody to do it, unfortunately. Could do that. Oh, reroll. Okay, that's kind of changed my plans a little bit. We knocked him over. Aha! The revenge hit. Oh, he's out. I think that's a bad one. Yeah, the niggle's not good. Okay, so that being the case, I haven't really protected the ball here, though. And I have used my reroll, so this could all go horribly wrong here. Uh, I think this makes most sense. Okay, that's about as safe as we can get. Down he goes. And... Whew. Armor breaks are being tough this game. In fairness, it's been tough for both of us. So we're both down a player. We s haven't really secured the ball here, unfortunately. I probably should have moved this guy. I moved, should have moved this guy down and moved this guy down. Uh, did he get us? He did. And now he can kind of knock in here. He won't get uh, two dice on us, is the plus side. Oh, and that's kind of awkward for him as well. He's definitely going to have to leap in there. Are we down to- did that guy- that guy KO'd, so we're actually down too. Oh, hey. Hey, Rick. Thanks for the raid. As per usual, uh, we're at a scary, uh, point in the game. I we're always at a scary point in the game. Oh, oh. Nope. <laughs> Just desperate for any kind of, uh, anything to go wrong for him. How's it going? We are getting squashed onto the sideline here, which uh, is kind of our own doing. If he doesn't secure this too much, we could just do a bunch of scary dodges around the site. We could just try and blitz this guy and do a bunch of scary dodges around and try and end up here. But we'll kind of see, he's still got his uh, blitz to do here. Nuffle wasn't kind to you? Oh dear. What were you playing again? Um, are you still playing the same team? I'm trying to remember what it was. Amazons?
down goes Spa. Our agility 3, which I need to remember is agility... Well, maybe I don't. Okay. Oh, that, and that's the Blitz. That's interesting. Is he gonna... Yeah. Oh, and fouling. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. It would have been nice if he had got sent off there, but no dice. I, I think if it were me, I would have probably put him here and done that. Because um, it does kind of open this up a little bit. Uh, not in an easy way. <laughs> oh, surfing opportunities, which we probably shouldn't take considering we have three turns left. That's not a great start, if I'm being honest. But it could be worse. <clears throat> We'll do this. Uh, hang on, I'll read that in a moment. Let's see if we can complete a good blitz here. Go on, knock him over. Thank you. How far can you go? You could go to there. Honestly, that's not bad. Can you two dice this? No, you can only... Yeah, you can. Okay. Um, let's try it. Very nice. Unfortunately, you have to follow. See, I could do that, but then... I'm running real low on people to send up with the ball. Oh, am I really going to try and sideline cage this? Because it's not the best. Oh, I've got so many dice to roll here. But I'm kind of run running low on people. Um, I need to go here and then... Oh, but I can't... Si I'm against Kislev here. I can't sideline cage. Oh, this is... This is... This is just not a good idea. Okay, I'll take it for now. So let's see, Undead first, then our Amazons, top four zones earlier this season, but decided to rebuild, he wasn't happy with the skill ups. Oh, big mistake. Oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's, uh... Okay, I'll, that's fine. I, um... I have played Amazons only a few, as Amazons only a few times because um, I'm just obviously they're very strong they seem very strong early and then uh, maybe they fade somewhat as it goes on and you start running into too many Chaos Dwarfs and Dwarfs right uh, I've only ever played them like at the end of a season when I've finished playing other teams and play like five games with them and those games usually go fine but uh, yeah they start so well but with such a good counter I don't know if I'm going to score here I am I mean if he doesn't score I'll kind of be okay with that I think I probably should try and score and then he's probably going to score against us because uh, Kislev are good at, good at that they got the agility as well and the speed oh he's coming after the ball okay oh dear he made it uh, he'll take that I think now, can he get in here? Oh, this guy can get in here. Oh, where's it going? Oh, boy. Don't... Oh, dear. This could be bad if it goes back here. Okay, it went, it went next to two of our guys. He's going to go for it anyway. May as well do a leap over into that. And then hand off. If you're going to try it. Yeah. I, I hate playing Amazons early on. It's just like... I mean, unless you're unless you're dwarfs, in which case I feel like it's uh, a horrible matchup. But playing against Amazons when you've got absolutely no tackle on the team. Oh, failed leap there. That's a reroll down the drain. But I'm sure he's going to get this. Oh, he actually did get it. Oh, that's that's really bad. Talk about some Skaven shenanigans. Okay, our wrestler is not where he needs to be. 
I suppose he is in the sense that he can go mark this guy. Um, let's get this done, just to try and protect here. Okay. Now, got to take this guy down. Uh, let's see, what have we got to do? I mean, I'm imagining I'm going to go this guy. But boy, how do we, how do we just protect this? Do I go this way? I, we probably need to, actually. We probably need to protect, we probably need to assume that this is, uh, going to go poorly and try and protect. I should probably do this first. Hang on. May as well do that. And if we fail, we could push him into this guy. Oh dear. That's a real bad start. Okay, that's a good follow-up. Uh, which way do we want to push him? Probably this way. And then... follow. Put some tackle zones on everybody. Okay, it's fallen into a tackle zone. That's excellent. Um, yeah, let's follow that. I don't think I can make this in any way sort of safe. I think I am going to try and grab it there. Oh, we did. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> Well, now I, know, I don't know what to do. I think we just hold on to it and hope for the best. Sorry, I'm being invaded by a cat here. So he's got a two dice against now. He can just stand this guy up for a, for a one dice, and then he could push him into this guy who could one dice him. And I think the good thing is, is his catches are down... Okay, so that's still a two dice against. <coughs> he would need to... Yeah, it's kind of tricky to get a two dice. Is he going to just settle for the one? I think he's just going to settle. Okay, no, he's moving this guy first. And unfortunately, he knocked us over. We'll come out this way. Oh no, that's our agility guy. We need him. Blitz here, I guess. Nope. Blitz there. Oh, he's got the wrestle. Well, he's got the wrestle either way. <sighs> okay. Good start. Okay. That's bad. But he has used a reroll. Oh, I don't think we have anybody that can score anymore. <laughs> okay, that's... Oh, maybe this guy? Oh, but he's about to knock him over. No, he can't score either. Oh, wow. Two... Okay, that was a bad turn for him. I see a cat. That is that is Loki, and it is uh, it is getting to dinner time here. Um, I will I will answer the other question in a moment, just because I got to think here in case there's anything I can do. You can't make it. You can't make it. I don't see any. I don't see any chain pushes. Not sensible ones. Hang on, you're two away. I mean, this could turn into a chain push, but then I've still got to get the ball out. He's still got a guy that could score down there. Let's see, how could I chain push this? Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know if I can chain push it in the right direction. Oh, I could chain push you quite easily, I think. Hang on, can I? Yeah, push this guy into here. 
push this guy into here, but, and then he's got a very awkward... Yeah, but it's still better than nothing, I think. Oh, I shouldn't have picked him up. I didn't need him. Maybe it's best to have him out anyway. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're now in scoring range, but it's not an easy score. Uh, I think we... Oh, we have to... Do we have to move this guy first? I'd rather not, just because of the... Um, just because he'll probably get surfed off if it doesn't. I think we're just going to take the bad situation here. I should have left this guy up. Come on, Els. Come on, you can do this. Uh, there's nothing else good to do. Oh, straight away. Come on, elf it, elf it. Oh. Every time. Okay, that's a long way for him to get it down the pitch, but it's it's doable. If he scores from this, I'm gonna I, I may cry. We had to roll a lot of dice there. Um did I play I didn't play Blood Bowl 3 beta. I think um I heard about it kind of kind of late and I applied for it originally. Um so I didn't get a chance to play it. But honestly, I watched um Knorr's video. Uh, his recent one on the uh, that he did with the sort of improved one, and I gotta say, thus far I'm not I'm not super impressed. Um, it's it looks very clunky uh, in terms of everything really, everything. I don't even know that the graphics are better. I actually so far kind of prefer the graphics. I would have I would have honestly been happy. From what I've seen so far from it, if they had just done some, um, you know, applied the new rules. Yeah, it kind of does look like it. It's kind of made to look like more action than actual strategy game. Like, they've made it look... Okay, if he... I just got to see if he's going to manage this. Come on, intercept that thing. Okay, I think he missed. Okay, whew. Um, yeah, it does kind of look... They they tried to make it look more action packed, I think, and whatnot. But despite theoretically having better graphics and everything, I I still prefer the look of this game. It's simpler. It's it's nicer on the eyes. Oh, that's not great. So what are we down? He's down two. We're down two. But he's down one less. Um, so this could be tough. But if he scores, we can get the chance to get a draw or something anyway. We got some good players to apply pressure. Yeah, I I just w I just wasn't impressed with it. Yeah, the the timing thing seems weird. I I mean, I'd like to think that there's still time for them to um you know, to adjust it and I'm hoping they're taking feedback seriously. Because I I certainly was not impressed. It it didn't it didn't feel like anything was an improvement. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think from watching that if I thought any. Yeah, I honestly didn't feel like anything was an improvement over the current one. Looking at Discord, you get the impression they don't care, like um, that the company doesn't care. Uh, whatever they're called for, is it Focus this time? I can't remember. That that is the worry. It feels like it feels like with a lot of these games. <coughs> that uh, Games Workshop like hands out licenses to people to make. It seems like they get put into a contract to just kind of complete it and then not care. Because I put quite a lot of time and hope into Necromunda, for example, and they made Necromunda look really good. And then they released it. They released a couple extra gangs, and then they gave up on it. And they didn't take any. Uh, didn't seem to really take on any feedback about how to improve the game. They just released a bad game, honestly. I really wanted to get behind it. But, um, 
and yeah, and then they just they just let it die like not long after launch. And I kind of feel like there's uh, a bunch of the games that did that. Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl two, they at least did keep working on. But even in that, there's things where uh, cyanide again. Yeah, yeah. Even even with Blood Bowl two, despite getting it to this stage, like look at all the star players that are basically just like have the one skin. So you have like a goblin playing playing for dwarfs and stuff like that. It's it's just so painfully you know, uh, un uncaring, I suppose. I want to say lazy, but maybe they're not given a budget still or whatnot, who knows. But but in that sense, why try and create this whole other game? Like, they could have reskinned Blood Bowl 2, changed the rules, done some easy graphical updates to kind of improve the players, um, and actually make people want to buy it. Uh, you know, get a few different looking stadiums in and stuff, like some of that nice... Um, Stuff which isn't super important, but, you know, after a while of playing this game with the same pitch every single time would be kind of a, a big, big improvement. And then they could have just called it there. Like, the way that this game looks now is, is so nice and so easy to play. I don't know why they've got a... <laughs> I wreck it sounds a bit kind of uh, over the top, but essentially. I, I don't understand. So I I gotta say not not super enthusiastic. I'm gonna go after the block guy because if we could remove a few of their um, skilled players, that would really help us out. Interesting to see if they. I imagine they're gonna try and sort of stall this out slightly, but we'll see. They might might try and go fast. I guess we'll slightly else screen there. And, uh, yeah, we'll try and get you out. Should we try and get you out through the back? Sure. Nope. Uh, Blood Bowl massively. Skip. Don't die on me. Okay, you can. relies on the Twitch community. If they turn the big streamers away from Blood Bowl 3, they won't get them back. Yeah, and I'm kind of... Honestly, so far, I'm, I'm a little worried. <coughs> You'd think with some... I mean, Blood Bowl 2 had some decent... Oh, he's had some Double Skulls play again. Blood Bowl 2's had kind of like a little traction from like... Uh, what's his name? Crendor, right? Who's a, who's a big-time streamer. They could... Like, I don't know. It feels like they could have capitalized on that more really kind of made name, but they just, like you say, they just don't seem to care that much. And it's a bit sad, really, because this is, uh, it's such a great game. A couple of sending offs here would, would be pretty sweet. That would help, uh... Okay, it looks like he's going to stall this out, and we're just going to hit each other until one of us breaks, which is probably going to be me. I, I do at least have Mighty Blow. Well, it's not really doing anything right now. But yeah, that that was that was honestly my first impressions of Blood Bowl three, or my second impressions because I did look at the betas first time. But I thought, ah, oh, they they won't keep it like this. This is <laughs> they'll they'll sort some stuff out after getting feedback. Just the you know honestly, just like the uh, even the menus put me off. They're so. Uh, <coughs> ugly and hard to read and hard to navigate. I I honestly not I'm not sure that there's anything that I saw so far that I felt was positive over and above what Blood Bowl 2 already has. Uh I mean there's still there's still time for them to change some stuff. One comment that I saw in the comments that I thought was a are actually a really good comment. Yeah, the skill icons are terrible. I don't understand any of them, they don't seem to have, like, at least on this, you have the coding, depend the color coding, depending on uh, what type of skill it is and stuff like that. Doesn't seem to have any, or maybe it does have that, but I don't understand it yet. Come on, Claw. Do your, do your, oh, that's not good. But we can kind of afford to throw a couple of rerolls out here, I guess. 
Um, now let's try and drop back. Yeah, the skill icons are terrible. Um, the the yeah, what one of the comments that I saw that that actually I was like, yeah, that's that's a good uh, point is the all of the uh, iconography and like dice popping up and like th there's just a lot going on like when you're in game is really really bright and overpowering and the players themselves just kind of fade into the background and that seems kind of like the wrong way around to have it like all the tackle zones are like bright reds and yellows um, all the players are like really muted colors This may just end up being a 1-0, but we'll see. We'll kind of keep persevering, because I don't... I think if we attack too hard, he's just going to burn a cup, burn what we put through, and then he's got enough players to just kind of come on past us. I don't really want to burn all my rerolls doing uh, <laughs> bad blocks with our catcher, but, you know. Oh, this is uh, this is some some poor mighty blow. I gotta say, Yuan has color coding, but also half and quarter colors where skills cross over. So, through teammate, it's three different colors. Oh, that's that's not good. Yeah, mighty blow is officially not doing as well as uh, armor value seven. Unfortunately, I think overall it should do better. Oh, hey, look at that. So he's down two players. We're down a few now, right? We're down one, two, three, four. So we're, t we're two players down ultimately. If we got a armor break here, then suddenly we would be only one player down. Oh, I didn't mean to put him there. I don't want to give this block away. Oh dear. Reroll. Oh dear, and we're given the. Oh dear. I knew it. This is, uh, this is getting trickier and trickier here. <laughs> oh, and I didn't run him back. Well, there we go. Getting sloppy now. I think there's a good game under the hood of Blood Bowl 3, but Cyanide aren't the company to deliver it. Yeah, I was I, honestly I was kind of excited for all the new rules and the new teams and whatnot. And as I don't play tabletop and I do like to stream it, you know that was kind of a big deal. So I was I was quite excited for the whole thing. Uh, I would say that I'm definitely muted in that excitement now. I'm not I'm not going to give up on it, but uh, you know they they have not given us much to uh, so far to get excited about. Probably gonna foul this guy. Maybe he'll just forget to score. I mean, I assume all the mechanics are there and whatnot with it. So if if they've if they've got all the mechanics right, that's you know, obviously that's a big deal. Oh, he's not gonna forget. Just gonna cage up here, I guess. Bring this guy over here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Who can we actually hit here? That's what we like to see. Stay. Okay, a stun at this stage is pretty handy. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's get this centralized situation as good as we can. Nice. 
Because he's going to have to move now. Come on, Russell, you can dodge. Oh, you can. That's actually pretty useful. So they're probably coming down this way. I should have put him here. Played over a thousand games of Blood Bowl 2, but probably weren't even half of that on Blood Bowl 3. Yeah, I'm... <clears throat> it's making me just want to keep playing this. I mean, honestly, I've not... I suppose there, there are issues with this edition. Um, in terms of how, <clears throat> you know, it's kind of uh, games... I've I've never I've I've always felt that Bash kind of needed something to happen with it. Um, there's a few things like that, but uh, you know, it's it's obviously from all the games that you've played, all the games I've played, uh, there is an enjoyment level. Uh, all the games that everybody's played, like this is a good game, and uh, it, so it's gonna, you know, there's there's a there's a little chance that the community actually won't even bother playing it. I guess if it's if it's as horrible if it released right now, I feel like people might re even reject it. <coughs> you think they'll close it? They left Blood Bowl One open for a while, didn't they? Oh, a couple of double ones here would be pretty nice. We do have a potential two dice here. I guess he might get this guy here, which would be a problem. Actually. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Dice rolls are all predetermined on Activision of player, and it means it's all down to luck. Oh, actually, that makes things easier. <clears throat> so we'll bring you in here. We'll pop you down here. Very nice. Uh, we'll bring you... I'd rather use you, but <clears throat> it's okay. Bring you in here. And then, you know, 50-50. Oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> uh, and he can just leap in now, unfortunately. Uh, there's not really a lot we can do. Uh, how many reels have I got? One. I need to hold on to that reroll, I guess. Yeah, I thought Blood Bowl 1 was still um, active for a while after Blood Bowl 2 launched, but of course they may decide to change that this time. That was interesting. <clears throat> I mean, he should be just fine here, but he's still a little... got a yeah, he's still got a little something to do. I think he'll be able to do it, but we've made we've actually made it a bit more awkward than I thought we were going to. Might just leap to here and go, but that's going to be a 2+, two 3+, plus, 2+, plus, two plus, uh, something, something. I don't know if he has to GFI. Let's see, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He'd have a GFI as well. Okay, he's going to he's gonna push himself out. That's cool. Unless he rolls... Nope. That's sad. Uh, I guess we'll go here. This is this is too much for my brain to comprehend what he's trying to pull here. Okay, he's going to come down here and then nice. Would going here have made that more difficult? It would have made it a dodge, actually, so yeah. So now he's just got a 2 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus. Oh, for diving tackle. Oh, he failed one of them. And he made the GFI at the end, unfortunately. Yeah, that was all too easy. If we get all our KOs back, we might have a chance at one turner. This might be a loss here. 
My excuse is I'm a bit rusty, but it's not the best excuse ever. Oof. Loki, there was no need for that jump. <laughs> yeah, I think I could have played this game. I, pl I, I was very passive in this game, I will admit. So do we want to use the catcher because he's got agility 5? He's only movement 7 though, so probably not. I probably want to use a thrower because I can actually move people. I can actually move throwers. I'm, I'm terrible at movement 7. One turners. Does mean we've got less chance of getting in once we get there, but it also means we have catch to get the ball. Okay. So let's see. We'll use you for the pickup as per usual. Um... We'll do... Pop you into here. I guess we'll get you to be our guy. Uh, we can do doop doop. Into there, and then this guy pushes. Hmm, maybe I should get this guy at the back, actually. Yeah, that makes more sense. He's got the same movement and he has agility 5 for the throw. Okay, so let's see. Come around, push into here. Uh, and then in theory go here. And then we push here, that'll... Oh dear, my brain my brain's just not functioning quite well enough yet. We'll give it a go though. I don't feel like I've set this up right, but I, I don't have the capacity to... Uh... You know what? It doesn't matter. We're not going to get to do it. That's a pity, isn't it? I, I think... I don't think this is one of those games where we can say that uh, we were robbed, but I think we could probably argue that we had a bit of a tough time of it. Is there any way to get this back? If I were to push him to here... No, no. Maybe if this guy was here, we could have pushed him to here and then pushed him across to make it work, but now, now there's just no chance, really. Well, how sad. Uh, so, what we'll do, I guess... Hey, Victoire. How's it going? I'm going to be honest, it's not going the best in this game thus far. Um, sure, we'll push you. And when I say so far, obviously we've only got one turret left. <laughs> and we got perfect defensed. So yeah, it didn't, didn't go too swimmingly well, but uh, it was, I, I will say it was probably partially my own fault for being a little, a little passive on attack and defense. Uh, we did have a chance on attack, but I, we, uh, we hit the trip wire when we went in. They had a chance to fall over as well, but they did not hit the trip wire, so. You're actually doing good, made a new Chaotic player pack to won four games back to back, nice. What have you got on your uh, Chaos Pact? That's right, you were playing the uh, the mixed teams, weren't you? Hey, we did that. Should we do the foul? I suppose we probably should in case we face them next time. It seems a bit mean, but they have been fouling us half the game. There we go. A nice, a nice KO to round things out. And that's that. Yeah, I forgot you were doing the uh, the mixed teams. Oh, it's got real dark here, hasn't it? Oh, never mind. Loki's sitting in front of the camera. Oh, there we go. Uh, how dark? How crazy dark is it? Okay, it's it's still visible. 80k. So we can buy. I think we might be looking at buying a throw here. Warpstone troll, red ogre. Oh, two storm vermin, two chaos warriors, and a witch elf, and a couple of goatmen. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. I can't even fathom how these teams play, uh, just just in the sense that it's like such a uh, so different in terms of how uh, they're set up to regular teams. You know, you you are used to like 
well, okay, you know, I know Storm Vermin and Red Ogres work in uh, Skaven games, and I know how what their roles in the team, but the uh, the mixed teams are so crazy that it's it's hard to kind of get my head around how it works. One reroll and one apo. So so playing a bit uh, risky in that sense, but I can understand that for sure. We got a little bit of SPP. We did injure a couple of guys. But yeah, ultimately, uh, I'll, I'll blame myself for that loss. Uh, with maybe, maybe I'll at least say we, we may have, we, we could have, you know, if RGFI had worked in the first half and his didn't work in the second half, it could have been 1-0 us, but it, obviously the game would have changed had we have gone in anyway. I probably should have just gone in a little earlier, because we kind of had the chance. Uh, so we rolled it regular, so I think we're just going to get the block that we desperately need to uh, stop throwing away rerolls on blitzes. <coughs> and the team is uh, coming along pretty much how I want. I'll pick up a thrower, and we'll actually have 12 players. And uh, that would be nice. Maybe we can get rid of Spar at some point, but he's kind of useful line fodder. Uh, let's see, it's paying off. My witch health is the designated ball carrier. Thank you for putting sure hands. And Nerves of Steel. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, I guess Block as well, right? Uh, let me quickly finish off this uh, video for YouTube here. Uh, thanks for watching YouTube. Oh, it is real dark there. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you for the next game we play. Bye for now.